It's an honor for me to be here for the launch of the Portuguese language website for the Rio Plus 20 conference. My thanks to UNIC head here, Mr. Suma, and Sheila Pimentel, the, the very energetic motivator of this exercise. Instituto Humanitaire's generous funding, particularly for content translation, as well as website preparation and hosting were instrumental in bringing this website about. It gives us in the Secretariat a special satisfaction that the Rio Plus 20 conference now enjoys a website in the language of our host country, Brazil, which is also an important international language, a bridge across several continents. Brazil itself is a bridge across continents and plays a vital role in all our multilateral processes. The development of this website reinforces and ensures efficient and effective dissemination of information pertaining to Rio Plus 20. In all Portuguese speaking countries around the world, from Brazil and Portugal all the way to Timor Leste, including the many Portuguese speaking countries in Africa. The Portuguese website is fully linked to the official Rio Plus 20 website, and all its resources are available in official UN languages and also provides much culture-specific material, particularly news stories in Portuguese. The website is a convenient way, it's a convenient two-way portal for the public in Lusophone countries to take part virtually in the conference preparations. The websites contain the full range of information pertaining to the activities being undertaken in the lead-up to the conference. The Portuguese language website contains all the main messages of the Rio Plus 20 preparatory process. The website also provides visitors with a comprehensive perspective of the preparatory process. It is a window into the conference, but it is also a window leading out from the conference so that others can read and see the inputs uploaded by stakeholders around the world. The launch of this website is more than just symbolic. It represents a way of engaging common citizenry in our efforts for Rio Plus 20. Rio may be in Brazil, but the spirit of Rio belongs to the world. It is a city of inclusion, Mr. Mayor, and Rio Plus 20 is a conference of inclusion. Rio is a city of solidarity. Rio Plus 20 is a conference of solidarity. Rio is a city of cooperation, of music and warmth. Rio Plus 20 is a conference to promote harmony and cooperation. Rio is a city for all, and that is what the Rio Plus 20 conference is all about. It is a conference for all. Our new technologies will enable this wider democratic participation in the conference. Information technology can indeed enable a sustainable development spring, a major increase in commitment to sustainable consumption and production, as well as a commitment to social inclusion and poverty eradication. Grassroots movements are growing and transforming many parts of our world thanks in large measure to the easy networking and sharing of information. The Portuguese language website also further consolidates our relationship with the Lusophone media, another crucial element in the success of raising awareness about the conference. People often ask, what will make the Rio Plus 20 conference different from Rio in 1992? It was also called the Earth Summit. There are certainly many answers to that question. Rio Plus 20 will be a unique occasion for reinvigorating the spirit of Rio, which was in a sense the characteristic of the meeting of the Earth Summit 20 years ago. It will help show our way, the pathway to sustainable development. Information technology, the work we are doing through the launch of this website is one small contribution 
to this democratization of information and the global participation in Rio Plus 20. I just want to end by some views on the major groups who are present here in large number and just update them that of all the contributions we have received for the text, for written contributions from a wide range of actors, 80% of that comes from major groups. 80% of participation our hosts are expecting from major groups at, in June next year. And 80% of good ideas in all the texts that I've read have come from major groups. So 80% of the conference without any doubt belongs to uh, major groups. It is an assembly of people. I remember I was here 20 years ago and that's when all the major groups were knocking at the door. Now they are in the house and they have to help show the world how to change things. You own this conference and the success of the conference will be your success. And I want to, I strongly believe that this inclusiveness at Rio with indigenous people, with farmers, youth, the business and scientific community, all those who fall under this category, which we call major groups, will be the hallmark of success of Rio. So with these words, I'd just like to thank you, uh, you once again for the effort that has been made in putting up this website and wish us all uh, progress and success in the run-up to Rio Plus 20. Thank you.